Remember this? I sure do. I took these pictures from my house in San Francisco. On September 9, 2020, the Western United States, including parts of Washington, Oregon, and California, was greeted in the early morning with an airy apocalyptic red and orange sky. Record-breaking wildfires had been relentlessly soaring across multiple states, which resulted in hovering clouds of smoke particles that blocked certain wavelength colors from the sun. At the time, many people felt that it was a sign that the world was ending. I argued that it was, because it was an unapologetic manifestation of global warming. We have already begun to see the consequences of global warming in the form of heat waves and wildfires. Between 2017 and 2020, there was an average of 215,000 more person days of wildfire exposure than between 2001 and 2004. The combination of dry conditions, hot weather, low humidity, and high wind speeds increases the chances of wildfires and makes them harder to contain. Global warming has numerous detrimental effects on our health. The 2021 report of the Lancet Countdown on Health and Climate Change highlights key points of health-related consequences of climate change. First, food insecurity will continue to worsen because warm temperatures will render less time for crops to mature and therefore crop yield will decrease. Second, the last 40 years saw an increase in the number of hours too hot for exercise, which made outdoor physical activity less safe and desirable. This will have impacts on obesity, cardiovascular disease, and mental health. Third, warm temperatures render the climate more suitable for infectious diseases to spread. Since the 1950s, the reproduction rate of dengue has been exponentially increasing, and the average number of months suitable for malaria transmission in highlands has been rising. Climate change does not affect populations and countries equitably. Poorer countries are seeing the largest increases in vulnerability to heat since 1990. Additionally, children less than one and adults older than 65 are most vulnerable to extreme temperatures. In 2019, adults older than 65 saw a record high of heat-related deaths with an estimation of 345,000 it's time to face the fate of the world headstrong by taking a stand for climate change policy, both nationally and locally. We need all hands on deck to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and lower our individual and communal carbon footprints to secure a safe and healthy future for our planet and our health.